And there you see the devil's brew of flaring in nighttime. No one is looking at this stuff right now because everybody's asleep. It's like 11 o'clock at night. And here we see, you know, the hidden fact of what the refineries do at nighttime is they're busily releasing all this stuff. It goes up, but it comes down into little kids' lungs. Look at that stuff, just continuously coming out. The last refuge of scoundrels is the flag. And there is the flag. And these scoundrels, you know, there's some of the stuff coming up. It's coming behind the trees. And there is more stuff coming up. And it comes up all night as they flare these dirty chemicals into the air. People rush past this horrible thing because of the stink. And they don't realize what's going on over here. But it goes on all night long. There it is. The night of the living dead. The closer you get to it, the more exhaust and horrible smells come out of it. This is like hell. Look at that stink coming out of there. All night long into kids' lungs. This is what happens. It's a Pulpita Boulevard. This is an isolated area. And you can see <laughs> at nighttime, that's when they let all this evil stuff out. There's the, there's the big oil tanks that are the villains. And there's, there's smoke over there and, and soot and crap coming up out of the air over here. All kinds of debris that are being released into the air basin. Now there is, oh, it's a horrible stench. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. This is awful. Now this is all going up into the LA Air Basin and no one, oh God, you can hardly breathe here. No one is doing anything about this, this horrible emissions. I mean, look at this stuff. Oh God, it smells like sulfur and death. And, and look at this stuff just going right up into the air, into kids' lungs. I mean, all night long with no regulation, the Air Resources Board does nothing. The South Coast Air Quality Management District does nothing. This is allowed to go on night after night. Right over this rise, there's kids. There's a residential community. And that's, that's where all this stuff, this horrible stuff, this endless fumes of stuff that goes into the air, that's where it ends up into kids alone. Now this is where all that horrible stuff starts to come down. And you know, there you'll see residential houses and in here, you know, this, this is the houses. These are the people where the smells come down. I mean, you can see the refinery exhaust up in the side over there. You can see it from here. And these are the houses where the people are sleeping at nighttime. And this, these are the lungs that get, get interdicted by all of this stuff that's coming out from the air right over there. And no one is telling these refineries, you know, you can't do this. In fact, they're allowing them to do it. So all these residential communities that live in the shadow of this re these refineries, I mean, there are massive banked refineries all to the windward of these houses. You know, these are the houses, oh my God, it smells bad over here. I can't imagine this, my lungs are, I can barely catch a breath. And, and inside these houses are kids that are sleeping. The next morning, they wonder why they can't breathe. You know, but if you open the window here, you know, oh my God, ah. <coughs> you know, it is just awful. That's one reason there's so much alcohol drinking here is because, you know, you have to do something because of all the horrible, you know, smell, exhaust. So naturally the people who live in the shadow of these refineries spend a lot of their time drinking and smoking to try to get this acrid smell of sulfuric acid and nitric acid and other contaminants out of their lungs. But this area, you know, is all in the shadow of the refinery. And there's the fruit of all the oil wells, just so that people can fill up their gas cars, you know, which we know are not even necessary. You know, and there's another one. You know, all these, 
Oh God, it still smells here. All these people have attenuated refinery gases in their lungs, you know, and and they don't even know it. You know, they, they we pass we pass by it and we pretend it doesn't it doesn't exist. You know, and you can just see, you know, how dirty cars are by just looking at the exhaust coming out from under it. You know, usually you can't even see it, but it's there. And this is all anhydrous nitrous, anhydrous sulfurous sulfurous acid and other contaminants 